radio message expressing his humanitarian work, his desire to help Syrians, and calling on ISIS to release him. ISIS is threatening to kill an American hostage next. Peter Kessig, a former Army Ranger who traveled to Syria to help victims of war. His family says he converted to Islam and changed his name to Abdurrahman Kessig. In a letter from captivity, Kessig told his family he was, quote, pretty scared to die. ISIS is fighting a propaganda war, but also making advances on battlefields. Turkey this morning sent more tanks to its Syrian border, taking up what appeared to be firing positions. This is why ISIS militants are advancing quickly on the city of Kobani, which is right on the Turkish border, attacking it with tanks and artillery. ISIS has already prepared a huge flag to fly over Kobani once it captures the city. ISIS appears to want to provoke a war with Turkey. This weekend, it even fired mortars into Turkey, hitting homes. In response, Turkey has deployed tens of thousands of troops to reinforce the border. But so far, Turkish troops have no orders to enter Syria, and that perceived inaction is causing problems at home. Riots have broken out in Turkey, with protesters demanding that the country take action against ISIS, instead of just watching the group. Turkey is now weighing its options. If it does decide to send troops into Syria, that would be NATO boots on the ground, and it could be a turning point. Now, let's uh, Richard Engel in Istanbul for us. Thank you, Richard. Three U.S. servicemen were swept away by high waves in Okinawa, Japan, on Sunday as a...